Hello, hello. Let's take a quick tour of Commons Use QuickBooks Online integration. Our first stop is getting QuickBooks connected to Commons View. To set up your integration, you need to head to the Management tab on the left-hand side of your navigation and click into the Admin section. The first place we're going to explore is the tax codes you are using inside of Commons View. This is where you'll define which taxes appear on your client invoices and in certain cases on your supplier bills. If you are using QuickBooks Online, you can use CommonSkew's Zip to Tax integration. This is an automated sales tax feature available inside of CommonSkew. Once the feature has been turned on, you simply add states that you are collecting sales tax for to your tax nexus, and CommonSkew will calculate sales tax whenever you are shipping to an address located within one of these states. Keep in mind that if you are a distributor located outside of the United States, you'll need to use CommonSkew's manual tax codes rather than zip to tax This means you'll need to build a list of all the tax rates you use to charge your customers and pay your suppliers, and then assign them as the default tax rate to each of those accounts so CommonSkew knows which sales tax to charge on your orders. And that's it for CommonSkew's taxes. Now we're going to head down to the Accounting Software Integration tab and connect our QuickBooks account. Just select the QuickBooks Online integration and tap the Connect to QuickBooks button. Here, you'll need to drop in your QuickBooks login and password before we can start mapping your CommonSkew account to your QuickBooks Online account. Now, if you need help getting your account set up in QuickBooks, the CommonSkew Success Team can help, but it's nice and easy. You're going to start by creating an AP account for your supplier bills, some expense or cost of goods sold accounts for those bill items and shipping, and then product and service items. These are for your client invoices. We'll have one for invoice items and one for invoice services. Once that's connected, we're going to take a look at the taxes. If you are using CommonSkew's Zip to Tax integration, this also means that you can use QuickBooks Online Automated Sales Tax. It's essentially the same thing, just inside of a different platform. When you export things like client invoices and supplier bills out of CommonSkew and into QuickBooks, QuickBooks will automatically calculate the sales tax for you as well. This bottom section is for mapping taxes if you are paying them on your supplier bills, so you probably don't need to do that if your team is based in the United States. If you're not based in the States and have questions about mapping taxes to your supplier bills, send us an email at support at commonsky.com and we'll walk you through it. And that is it for the setup. Now let's take a look at a CommonSkew invoice. I've already built an invoice for our client inside of the CommonSkew platform, and you can take a quick preview of how that invoice looks to the client by tapping on the Actions button. This gives them an overview of their order, and if you are using one of CommonSkew's credit card integrations, they'll be able to make that payment directly from the CommonSkew invoice. When you're ready, you'll want to email this invoice to your client from the CommonSkew platform. And once we've invoiced the client, we are ready to export this invoice over to our QuickBooks Online account. Before we talk about exporting the invoice, we're going to take a quick peek at our supplier bills. You can add bills to the project just by using the templates that we create based on the details of the purchase order. You can change the purchase order items or services and add any additional lines to your supplier bill. Once the bill details have been captured, they are also ready to be exported over to QuickBooks. So let's take a look at the export process. We're going to head over to our Finance tab, again, on the left-hand side of our navigation, and click into the Invoicing section. From here, we're going to use our Invoices report, to pull a list of all the invoices that are ready to be exported over to QuickBooks Online. This is the same process you would follow to export supplier bills, except that we'd be exporting your bills from the Billing tab under the Finance menu. Once you find the invoice you need to export, you can select it and tap Export to QuickBooks Online. When you are exporting an invoice or a bill for a client or supplier for the first time, CommonSkew is going to ask you to map that account to its corresponding account in QuickBooks. Here is the client I have inside of CommonSkew. Where should it be going once we export invoices for them over to QuickBooks? You have a couple of options. 
this dropdown will populate with all of the clients I already have created inside of my QuickBooks account. If this client already exists inside of QuickBooks, just select them from the list and tap the map and export button. Otherwise, you can leave this don't map option selected, tap that map and export button, and Common SKU will create a customer for you inside of QuickBooks with the same name. Either way, you'll never have to worry about mapping this account again. Going forward, Common SKU will always know where to attach this client invoice or supplier bill based on how you've mapped it. Once we get our export complete message, we can pop into QuickBooks Online and we can take a look at this invoice right away. Now I'm going to use our search bar up top just to drop in that invoice number to find what I need. I can select the invoice and we can see that all of the information from our common SKU invoice has been pulled over to QuickBooks Online. It pulls over the same product and service information, billing and shipping address details, and you can also capture additional details such as the project name and enhanced date. As long as you have the date set up inside of QuickBooks Online for your Nexus, it'll also pull over tax. When it comes to payment, you would receive your client's payments inside of QuickBooks Online. Once payment has been received inside of QuickBooks, that actually sends a push back to CommonSkew and tells us that the invoice has been paid. We will automatically update the status of that invoice to let you know that that payment has come through, so there's no need for any double entry. Now, the good news is that if you know how to export a client invoice, you also know how to export a supplier bill. We'll head back over to that finance menu and click into the billing section. Once here, we're going to use the export bills report to pull a list of all the bills that are ready to be exported to QuickBooks. Just select the bill that you need to export and tap the Export to QuickBooks Online button. Once the bill is exported, you will make the payment inside of QuickBooks. QuickBooks is also where you're going to carry forward with all of your financial or tax-related reporting. And that's how Common SKU works with QuickBooks Online. You would want to complete these exports regularly, perhaps once or twice a week, depending on the volume of orders your team manages. If you have any questions about how CommonSkew works with QuickBooks Online, send us an email at support at commonskew.com.